Hello, boys and girls. My name is Haltasi, as always, and we are here at another day or another evening in Minecraft at our Nether Tree Farm, or what will become a Nether Tree Farm, because last time we built this this lower part here, and today we have to reach new heights uh, because Nether Trees can grow quite high and we need to have a mechanism to harvest them all so let me quickly build this up and um, then uh, we will get into more details as you can see and here the farm is working at least for uh, this wood type um, there are still a few kinks uh, to work out because sometimes it can happen that uh, blocks are breaking that should not break, especially the wall back there. And if that's broken, the signal does not come uh, down from the top and uh, uh, reiterating the loop. Uh, but I think we can work around that. So the final thing for this farm is figure out how can we manage to get not only the warp wood out of this, but also the crimson one. Uh, one, we need to have different colored nylium in there. That's the easier part. And the other thing is we have two sorting modules that sort out the wood and they are set for warped uh, wood. And I would really like uh, to not have to reset the uh, filters if I switch to nylon, but let me check if uh, this is possible and um, then we will see where we stand. All right, I placed the extensions and uh, here on this side it was easier to slap on another sorter. I had to extend uh, the bone mill factory here on this side to get uh, this one in. And on this side it's a bit more complicated because we have one sorter there and then the other one here on this side. Uh, so basically that makes everything too wider. Uh, if I planned it beforehand, I would probably move uh, this slice one over and then we could move this one over and everything uh, would fit in between. Um, however, um, here on uh, this side, um, we have this going on, um, where I can break the glass block and then to replace the nylon with the red one, we have to turn it to netherrack first. And we cannot dig it out and uh, put another one in because uh, there are minecarts under it. And then this red wool block will replace with red nylon. And once all these are turned to netherrack. We can bone mill them from this side, and we have the red variant in there. So let me quickly put that uh, up, and then we can start the farm again and have a look at the top to see how the uh, TNT is uh, actually working. We can turn on the farm by flicking this lever 
and then we have to press this button here and that sets everything in motion to turn it off which is flick the lever again but we should have a yes a red tree up here and uh, it is already blasting so the signal of course is transmitted through this this pile here and then up here we have three different TNT duplicators at different heights uh, so that the TNT explodes at different heights and as we get more small trees uh, the lowest TNT duper is used the most frequent then uh, less often the one above and most seldom the one at the top and every time we get a signal uh, through here we count and once all the uh, TNT is dispensed and exploded we have trapdoor up there that moves which just shortly uh, uh, makes this middle portion a flat wall there you saw it and that in turn is detected down there which sets the whole process of growing the next tree uh, into action and that's basically all the magic there is of course a lot of uh, redstone but as i mentioned this farm is designed by race work so i suggest you check his video out for an in-depth explanation until then goodbye